Hello, you beautiful lot. My name's Purple. And I'm Leanne. And this is the Koch. If you like the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe, and we can let you know about the Koch. That we certainly can. Ah, hello, you beautiful lot. It's me and Eddie. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we've been sent on a little mission by Ray Stewart once again. As you can tell, we're at Tesco's. And what we want to do is we want to go have a look at why the road at the top is called Turnills Mill Lane. So surely with a name like that, there's got to be a mill close by. So good old Ray Stewart has sent us on a little lead to go have a look under the A45 to try and find the remainders of Turnills Mill. Come join us on the journey. Should be good, eh? Alongside the River Nen in Wellingborough, Northamptonshire, are the overgrown remains of Turnell's Mill. Originally built in 1874 by the Whitworths brothers, it was operated by George Turnell. The Whitworth Company opened the Victoria Steam Mills in 1886, so that's the big mill by the embankment, and continued to produce flour from the same premises. The water mill, meanwhile, continued to operate for a number of decades in the 20th century. It did eventually go out of use and after becoming derelict in 1975, it was set alight by vandals. The building demolished soon afterwards. Uh, but what we've got to do, you hold my hand, because this is a very, very dangerous road. But what we want to do is we want to try and get in to that bit there. Because if you look, that's what we need to go for. Come on. Okay. Is that a big ditch? Yes, it is. But look in there, ready. There's the water mill. Yes. And that's Turnham's mill. Oh. Oh, wow. Daddy, that looks like Oh, wow. Let's, uh, you just go careful. Oh, look. Oh, look, fungus. Oh, there's loads all around here, look. Oh, jelly ears. No, no, they're peacock tails, apparently. I think they are. Oh, but look, there's the water mill. Let's see if we can, yeah. That there, Eddie, in there, is the last remaining part of Turnham's mill. This is serious, yeah. And apparently the, um, the council will have to look after that wheel because it's part of the heritage. So yeah, thank you, Ray Stewart. Yeah, and uh, to be honest, I never knew it was there. Wow, cool. Now what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll find some pics and I'll put the information up for you. And me and Eddie, we're going to try and work our way round to the corner and see if we can get in. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, gate's locked. No, ah, uh, look, there we go. Okay, all right then, Ed. Yeah. Right, okay then, so, yeah. Please, if there's anyone who can let us get in there and have a look, a proper look in the summer or in the spring, please give us a shout, I'd love to see it. And I'm pretty sure the people of Wellingborough like to see it as well. So, um, yeah, on that note, me and Eddie, we're gonna make our, make our way home, go get some breakfast and continue our great day of filming. So. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button, then hit the little notifications bell, and we can let you know about the cutch. With all the love in our outs, we bid you a farewell until next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Bye Ed. Bye.